pretty good. Yeah. That seems a lot closer than normal. <laughs> Jeez. It's not. I'm trying to get in my nose. That's exactly where we're going. So we're good now? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, go. <laughs> Yo, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got the performance review on these guys right here. This is the Adidas Dawn Issue 1, Donovan Mitchell's first signature shoe. Now before we get into the performance review, we do have a quick announcement to make a little channel update, if you will, which we rarely ever do. Actually, I don't think we've ever done one, so update. But we've been talking about, you know, setting up our Discord community, our Wear Testers Discord community, and we have done that right now. It is live right this very moment. If you were interested in joining and supporting what we do here, if you want to support the content that you like, if we have helped you out in any way, click the link in the description box below. You'll be able to go over there, read on weartesters.com what it means to be one of our discord members and if you wanted to join feel free if you don't want to join don't worry about it it's not a big deal we do appreciate everybody that supports in their own way whether it's by hitting the like button leaving a comment watching the video all that kind of good stuff however one of the perks to being one of our discord members is you get direct access to me pretty much all the time because i don't sleep to what i was doing last night <laughs> i was talking to people on discord and this right here is one clear-cut example it was actually about this shoe he was trying to figure out what shoe he needed for his specific type of I would say ailment but just like issue because everybody has their own personal preferences he had these pitted up against another shoe and I just gave him my opinion I don't know if that helped him buy one shoe over the other or anything like that but that is the type of scenario that we're trying to like kind of bring to the table here with our discord community we want it to be a bunch of like-minded individuals not like-minded in the sense of we all think the same thing because I think that that's not good I think that there's nothing wrong with a healthy debate discussion chat especially if we come to a either mutual understanding or compromise again that's just one of the things that we want to do here it's something that we can't really do here on YouTube unfortunately at least not anymore there's so many trolls I've personally just taken a step back from replying to people on social media and on the YouTube channel because you never know who's gonna go off on you for absolutely no reason so I've stopped communicating with a lot of people but if you did want to communicate with me and I wanted to make sure that you're not a troll that is exactly the way to do it thank you so much for anybody that does sign up for our community and with that being said let's talk about these guys so first things first the traction on these guys for me personally did not do so well they weren't horrible or anything but I found myself slipping and sliding if I was not wiping all the time and that was on every court that I played on I don't know what the hell the problem is the only thing that I can assume is maybe the traction pattern is a little bit too tight for me or the rubber compound is just poor either that or I just happen to have a bad pair I don't really know I'm not going to be playing in the other pair that I have because I do want to keep that for our discord community giveaways and all that stuff because we'll be doing those once a month should we be giving away used shoes could we we can do whatever we want that is true maybe I'll give away both of them I don't know I actually like these for outdoors outdoors they did really good outside I was actually surprised because the last shoe that I played in outdoors was the Greek freak shoe and that shoe was not good outdoors not just with the cushion but the traction I was like sliding on the court that I normally like really have good grip on so this shoe right here played well outside not well inside for me however huge asterisks next to the traction section right here because everybody else that I have talked to and I mean like everybody has absolutely loved the traction on these things including some of our own wear testers where they're currently testing the shoe too and they're like nah man I've been having great traction so I don't know what the deal is all I know is that when you have differing opinions but there's a majority versus a minority in this particular situation I'm in the minority everybody that I've heard from the majority has great traction so that's who I would listen to not me in this case this is just my personal experience in these it's a little bit different when it seems to be 50 50 like something like the Kyrie 5 or the Dame 5 those two shoes like some people either have great traction or shitty traction in this case I've only heard of people having great traction other than myself so even though I have poor traction you might not want to listen to me because I haven't heard anyone else complain about it now the cushion on these guys is full length bounce and this might be my favorite iteration of bounce so far I know that boost is life but bounce I just find to be a better cushion source especially for basketball I think that this stuff just feels great I think that it's got the perfect balance of court feel and cushion if you like that kind of like step in plushiness and all that stuff but you don't want to feel like you're sinking into the shoe this is the setup for you I think that this is awesome it felt great outdoors it felt great indoors every time I 
put these things on, man, I always think like, fuck, these are comfortable. And I've played in almost every version of Bounce that there is since they introduced it on the Dame 2s. And I just think that this one right here is probably the best one. Yeah, I just think that they're super comfy. Did I mention that it was full length for 100 bucks? Full length cushion. Awesome cushion at that. What's not to like? And the materials of these guys are pretty much what you see, not on just most models, but most Adidas models today. It's just textile mesh. There are select colorways that are going to be using synthetic leathers. If you wanted a little bit more support, and by a little bit, I really emphasize the little bit portion, it will give you a slight bit extra support and containment than the textiles. But from what I've experienced, this guy right here works perfectly fine. The mesh is great. The textile is great. It breaks in really easily. Oh, actually, there's like no breaking time. That's probably one of the best things about stuff like this is that when it works, they're ready to go fresh out the box, unlike leathers where you do need to kind of break them in and mold them to your feet a little bit. A mesh or a textile will already do that. It's cloth, so it will wrap around your foot no problem. It's been pretty durable so far as well. It's a little bit dirty here or there, but that's to be expected. I played basketball in them. I didn't like go walk around in the mall or at Target, you know what I mean? And if you do that, that's cool. That's just not me. But I personally had zero issues with the materials themselves. I think that they feel and look great and perform great on top of that. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, as we all know, Adidas is all over the place with their sizing. Nobody knows what their Adidas size is, even though it should just be your true size, whatever it measures at on that little measuring foot thingy. But for me personally, I went true to size. I feel like they fit me perfectly. The lockdown is great. I do have another pair of these in a half a size down that I bought because I wasn't sure what the sizing was going to be like. Because again, with Adidas, you never know. And those ones I can fit into lengthwise. It's a little bit more snug than these, but it's a nice snug. But the midfoot area, like the top of the arch, that's like really tight and all that stuff. And I don't like how that feels. I don't want it to cut off circulation in my foot. So with me, true to size worked best. Again, the lockdown was great. I had no issues. I know that the ankle collar looks a little funny, like it dips really low and all that stuff. But the lockdown right there is fantastic. I didn't notice much of anything with this guy. It could have been there. It could have not been there. It was just, it is what it is. But again, the lockdown, all that stuff, I just feel like it's perfect. I have almost zero complaints about this shoe other than the traction. I think that this shoe is fantastic other than that one issue. And as far as support is concerned, a lot of that has to do with the fit. As long as you get them in the size that is best for you, try them on in store if possible, obviously, because you know some wide footers might even go up half a size. I don't think you will need to, but you never know. But most of that stuff relies on the fit. And once that fit is good, then everything else on the shoe will work well. So the internal heel counter will do its job with the sculpting and the way that the midsole is, is made to cup your foot. That stuff will work properly as well. I love that they've got these little exaggerated pieces that really hone you in right there so it does not allow you to roll off the footbed. It's awesome. The platform or the base is nice and flat and it's super wide, extra exaggerated. Adidas is known for that right now. I know that it looks very bulky, but this promotes a lot of stability and also it's very flexible on top of that. It reminds me of the original feet you wear stuff without being actual feet you wear. So while they look clunky, exaggerated, super long, especially in the back of the heel. This is the one part where I'm kind of like, why is it so big? That's what she said. It doesn't feel that way once they're on foot and all that stuff. You're just going to go in, put them on, lace them up and play. Have fun. No questions asked. The only thing that you might be worried about is the traction. If you're me, other than that though, you should be good to go. And that pretty much takes care of it for the performance review on these guys right here. My only issue, my only issue was the traction. If the traction was awesome, I'd say that this is probably one of the best shoes of the year because everything above the traction works so well that I was like, man, I was really bummed that the traction didn't work out. If you need any more information, click the link in the description box below. It'll send you over to weartesters.com. You can check their price, their weight, their scores, along with a detailed write-up and review. Again, if you wanted to support us and become a member of our Discord community, there's another link in there as well. You could read up on what it means to be a Wear Testers Discord community member. Thank you once again, and until next time, guys, have a good one. What are you doing with those? That's what my question was. You're gonna have to bring Nike into it? <laughs> Stop. Your fake laugh is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with a fake laugh though, yo? Shut up. Do I do fake laughs? Do I have a fake laugh? Because no. you have a number of them. So what's up with the fake laugh thing? Is that a girl thing? Like, what is that? I don't know. No, now Does I need Kara to know. Does Kara do it? Kara just doesn't laugh. It's true. Okay. Um, but no. a teenager. But no, what's up with the fake laugh though? Do you guys have ladies that fake laugh at you? Because I could tell when you fake laugh. It's like, what the f*** was that? <laughs> Stop everything. No more performance talk. What's up with the fake laugh? I need to know. It's like a filler. A filler of what? Of non-silence. There doesn't need to be a filler <laughs> because now you just made the non-silence <laughs> awkward. And it's a nervous thing. If you're still nervous <laughs> in front of me, then you've got problems. I've seen your b- <laughs>
Anyways, mm -hmm. since we talked traction so much, I thought it was interesting looking at the bottom of your shoe because I just did, we're gonna have a write up on these guys. They're the, think. What is that? they're the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2 and Drew and I both tested them. But anyway, so I was studying these last night while I was doing the write up. Your guys' basketball shoes, yes, there's variations on traction, but they're all solid rubber. Well, not always. The majority of them, like not I was from looking- Not from Nike. I was looking at your wall while I was standing back there and I couldn't pick out any. Yeah, but that's just cause I, I don't pull up the shoes back there. The only ones that were coming to mind that had cutouts in them are the and one, the attack 2.0. What do you mean by cutouts? Cutouts for the cushion underneath. Oh, like little compression things? Yeah, and so uh, I was just thinking that's so interesting because on running models, it's like they cut out as much rubber as possible. Yes, for weight reduction. Mm -hmm. They were doing that on basketball shoes. Nowadays, they make basketball shoes out of lightweight, cheap rubber. It's like that really soft stuff. Sometimes it grips really well, sometimes it doesn't. The thing is, is that it burns through quickly. That's like, what I was like gonna you'll... ask, because that's a huge complaint I have. Well, it's a huge complaint with us too. Of a lot of people that, not usually with, with Adidas, but with a lot of Nike products, and sometimes with Under Armour, where actually with Under Armour, I, I tend to get really good traction out of their shoes, even though the rubber will fray and wear quickly. But with Nike, their stuff will literally like kind of come off. And I know that the Curry 6 has an issue. That's not a, like a rubber durability issue. That's like a design issue. For whatever reason, you know, that was a stress point for a lot of people, I guess. So it was tearing the rubber away. But I've seen like like my my uh, traction on my Kobe's, like a lot of Kobe's, they, it literally just like burns off. And I had a $200 shoe where I played in them and the little nubby things that were the traction were gone in a lot of areas. I don't feel like I'm an elite athlete. I don't feel like I should have that on my shoe. I feel like I'm a regular person. I'm a rec league pickup ball type of player. I don't play high school ball basketball anymore. Like it's just like, what's the, what, how? And on top of that, I play in these shoes. Like I test them for one to two weeks. To do that much damage that's when other I'm, people are using them for like. That's their shoe for the season. Yeah. I could only imagine if, could you imagine if I had a, a full season